The video in which you're about to watch may contain some offensive language not suitable for younger audiences, uptight Christians, or 60-year-old asshole women at Preston's Burgs Peking. So if you're offended by that thing, either turn the video off or shut the fuck up. You have been warned. Oh, shit, no. I didn't think about that. I guess we're going to get sued by the soap act. They dropped that bill. Yeah, it'll be back around. Yeah. Why would we get sued for that? Because you can't mean, use anything like that, Jess. You can't use anything. We haven't been right. for a while because I like to monetize this so we can make a little bit of, like, we can make, like, 10 cents a video. You oh. can't listen to music? You can't have anything in your video that has anything to do with like copyrighted or trademark yeah. material. So what if you're in like a Chevrolet and you show the logo? Probably not. You probably have to like black that out. We're gonna have to blur out the, all the Chevrolet logos. I know it's fucking stupid. Like it's if you even, look, they don't even have that bill anymore. No, but let me tell you what it was proposing to do. Like if you're making a video, tell you me something. Like popcorn. Listen, listen. Why listen. would I spend like popcorn? God damn it! Listen to me. Both of you, shut popcorn. up. Uh, if you're doing a video, like a YouTube video, and you've got a TV on in the background, and it's playing like something like Family Guy or something like that, then they can take down your video and apparently well, sue you and all this Can't you be sued just for mentioning Family Guy? I don't know. That would really be stupid. Can't you be sued for being gay? Just be sued like constantly. You'd be sued because you suck a lot of dick. <laughs> he is a fan of the penis. Though. You're all both a fan of the uh, police shitty ass. Are, the police are down here checking out something. Somebody's trying to steal shit. So what we're going to see, this is on the road. We haven't done on the road in months. We're going to About see half a dozen fortnights. We're going to see The Devil Inside, <laughs> which is the exorcism movie that everybody says sucks. We're going to Are you going to be scared, Jess? Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! I know I'm going to be scared because I'm a big fan of exorcism movies, and they're probably the only ones that halfway get a fright out of me. You really need an exorcism movie to get you out of that ah! movie. We're going to have to exercise all the dicks out of his butt. <laughs> You exercise dicks in your bud. <laughs> oh, one, two dicks, three dicks, four dicks, five, five dicks. That squats. Five dicks. <laughs> what four dicks? You do a squat right on top. Oh, here you of go, here you go, here you go. White dick, black dick. Hey, yellow dick. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, ask me about my photo op. <laughs> Just a bitch ask me about. Yeah, we need to get Joe to make us some t-shirts that says deadpit.com. I ask us about our photo ops, and then eat our ass. <laughs> I wonder what time it starts. Seven. Seven? Oh. Oh. This is not a good sign. I'm no. taking my camera with me. Oh. I'm going to park over here, too, so we're close to the road. 
Do you reckon those girls at the Strand will actually let us in for free? Probably not. Okay, we did that screening here and we made you guys some money. Parents for sure, we're going to get robbed. Well, well as long as I take my camera. About that, Jess, as long please. as I take my camera with me, that's all I care about. So, this Uncle Bill's final thought. Anything to do with Wes Craven? No. Oh. Well, then I think we should be okay. Okay. I think it's going to be Linda Blairific. The devil inside a bitch. <laughs> woo! Woo! Stop woo. it! <laughs> I was thinking it would actually, okay, I was thinking that it would actually end when they were like running in there and shit in the hospital, but no, they had to go a little bit further and do like a dead pit on the road style shoot <laughs> ending, like Jess can like go psychotic and like, oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah. people weren't lying when they said that movie sucked. So. It wasn't like, it wasn't half bad though, like the exorcisms themselves were kind of cool. I didn't think that that, that part was bad. I thought that that was, that was pretty creepy. When it was they like, were, but, and the idea, the idea was cool. But I hate it when they do that, when they have no way to end something, so they end it really retarded. Well, I don't even think they explained Ooh. everything No, they didn't. That's what, they, that's what people like. People I, get, like I mean, it was, it was a total rip off of Blair Witch Project. And like almost every way except they didn't explain shit. They really, uh, people like explanation. And to me, no though, one is doing that lately. To me though, it was like. What they, can you they expect? Took, they took everything about every like exorcist movie, like uh, uh, Exorcism Emily Rose and uh, oh, Last Exorcist and like the original Exorcist. They took all the cliches from it, jammed them all into one movie. And then, but it's like they didn't even attempt to do anything with it. Like they just put all that shit in there and then didn't even come up with any kind of story or fucking ending or anything. Then the stupid, crazy looking nun bitch that's on the poster is like, what, in one second of the movie? <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, like, I, like, I like the movie up to a point. I like the idea of it. I just didn't like the way it ended. And I didn't like how they didn't explain things that you kind of wanted to know about. The, 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 like I said, the exorcisms were cool. I like those. And the idea of like this whole transference thing, that was really neat too. But they just didn't explain <sighs> anything at all, which kind of was retarded. Well, the idea of the transference thing is that was done in like a couple other movies too. Though. That was done in The Exorcist 3. Yeah, well, and it was like, also done in the first power, which is really Well, it's kind of like a continuance from The Exorcist to The Exorcist 3. They kind of did it, but it's, but it's like nothing. Like, who in the hell would ever think that was a good movie? That movie's awful. I didn't like, think there's it was... nothing to that movie. I actually kind of fell asleep a little bit during it. It's like, I was, I was so bored. I said, I'm really tired. Oh, shit. Oh, I see, okay. Have they still got... Why is the camera still oh. on? Oh. Must be snow cold or something. Yeah, there is. It is cold. Shit out. But anyway. Uh, this movie's been out a while. And I think everybody pretty much online shit all over it. So I can't really disagree with anybody. On it. I'd, I'd heard like it was really horrible. But I thought, I mean, how bad could a movie about exorcism really be? But this is by yeah. far... The worst movie about exorcism I've ever seen. Yeah, I, and actually, a lot of people, a lot of people shit on uh, the last exorcism, and I actually kind of liked that. I thought that was pretty good. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, I think the Exorcism Two, or sorry, the Exorcist Two, is the closest movie to being that shitty movie. Yeah, well, the Exorcist Two is like what about three hours long? Or yeah. Something. So, um, shouldn't be too surprised either because the. What was that guy's name? William Brent Bell that directed it. You know what the last movie was he directed, Uncle Bill? No, I don't. Stay Alive with Frankie Muniz. <laughs> That's Come a killer on. video game movie. Yeah. They actually let that guy make another movie. And weirdly enough, Stay Alive was in the fucking movie theaters. That as movie, shitty as that was. That movie actually made a ton of money on its opening weekend. It was like the number one movie, but I think after people saw it, they were like, oh, that's well, shit. Well, Stay Alive did. Oh, that's oh, I was going to say. Yeah. It's even more Stay bizarre. Didn't make any so we saw a movie theater uh, in there in the movie theater. We saw a poster for Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Like that's actually going to be a theatrical movie. How? That's like the stupidest idea I've heard in a fortnight. <laughs> it's going to set the world on fire, though. 
<laughs> he gets on these tags where he says Fortnite a lot. I don't know why. He you know what, what Fortnite is, Jess? No, I don't. It's two weeks. So, Actually, there used to be a guy on YouTube. Like I oh, said fuck. earlier, I haven't seen something. What the, Fortnite, fuck, so. what the fuck was his name? He was from Australia, oh, and he would actually yeah. say Fortnite, and I was like, what in the fuck is Fortnite? Oh, my, he did it well, this is the best day, my day I've seen in a Fortnite. And I looked it up, and I was like, holy shit, that's killer. I've got to use that, because it's funny. <laughs> You're ripping off some guy you saw on the DVD review video one time. I think it was, yeah. But, uh, I didn't think that the movie was horrible. If they would have, how did you? Know I didn't think it was horrible. absolutely. I didn't think it was horrible. Like the worst. Jess, you kept ever. looking back at me. I thought for sure as hell you was thinking this was the shittiest movie ever. I mean, it was pretty shitty, but it wasn't unwatchable. I watched it. I mean, although I got really tired. She's during. being immortalized on on the road, and she's fucking with her iPhone. Yeah, she's got a severe addiction to that fucking iPhone. I'm getting ready to take it away from her. There's a strain. That's where we're selling at. Yeah, Three taking plugs. your iPhone. Strain. Right. Taking it. You don't need to get an iPad. That way, just just play with that all the time. If she got an iPad, you'd never see her again. Like she'd be in there in her room. I think I'm gonna get an iPad. Fucking up, uh, save me some money. It's gonna be kind of hard because I've got new... I've got Tim's gonna make me a new DVD shelf, and that's gonna cost probably about another eight hundred dollars. I got a brand new computer, <laughs> and I don't even use it. I mean, Why not? I it's still in the box because <laughs> I got this phone. I can't stop playing with it. <sighs> she can't stop playing with it, folks. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> That is it for the Dead Pit on the Road. We'd like to tell everybody to follow us on Facebook. And your fucking papal. Like us on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is. <laughs> Did you guys ever use Twitter? I've actually connected it to my Facebook, so now I'll be using it quite a bit, and Uncle Bill needs to connect it. Why do you the one always used to tell me, don't use Twitter, that's the gay. <laughs> everybody out there, go to our Twitter page. I need to get Twitter. Get us Twitter it. Send us some twats. Twitter my tweets. Twitter my so, tweets. What's the next on the road we're going to do, Jess? Um, How about the woman in black with Harry Potter? Uh, I was just, I asked him the other day, I said, does Daniel Radcliffe, has, I wonder if he's ever gotten laid. And Aaron said he has. He probably has. He's gotten some male sure eyes. He's got some Potter pussy. You know, some Is that like the only you ever get laid by like, yes. a bunch of little Tweety boppers yes. like in Harry Potter? I actually don't think you'd ever get laid by the fact he's got a ton of money. It doesn't matter what you look like. He just doesn't seem sexually attractive to me in the least. You like that redheaded kid, didn't you? Oh, yeah. He was dreaming his fire crotch. <laughs> <laughs> that redheaded he's kid made now, a Twitter right, pot. Hell, like, I don't know. He's like 18 or 19. Yeah, but though. you was attracted to him when he was seven. No, Twitter. I know. I said, you know what? Thank you. You both were seven when Ooh. that movie came out. <laughs> Like, oh God, fire crotch. So anyway. She balls her knuckles up and rubs her. You all have a lovely night. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you next time on Dead Pit on the Road. Be sure to uh, check out our auction for that soundtrack we got up to. My that. It's already up to like. It was $91. <laughs> we just put it up today. Wait, what is it? It's got like six days left. It's up $91. It's got like six and a half days left. Well, uh, Friday the 13th soundtrack. See, Wes did something smart, which was he listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Creepy Kentuckian, I'm Uncle Bill. And I'm Jessica. <laughs> Deadbird.com. <laughs> <laughs>